Greetings, one and all. On Saturday the 17th of February, the Washington Capitals visited Chicago's United Center to go head-to-head in a regular season game against the Chicago Blackhawks. The game ended in Chicago's favor, with the home side taking care of business in a very convincing 7-1 victory over the visiting Capitals side. However, the biggest talking point from this game has surrounded something completely separate from the final box score. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, here's what happened. Washington Capitals player Devontae smith Pelly was sitting in the penalty box serving a five-minute major penalty for fighting Chicago's Connor Murphy. During his time in the penalty box, four Chicago fans sitting nearby began to shout, Basketball! 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 at smith Pelly. Clearly upset by the taunting, smith Pelly showed his lack of appreciation by tapping the glass separating himself from the fans and responded verbally to what they had said to him. An off-ice official that was sat next to smith Pelly in the penalty box notified the building security about the incident and the fans were promptly ejected from the game shortly after. Now, this isn't the first time that basketball has been used as an insult against Devontae smith Pelly since he joined the National Hockey League. In 2017, smith Pelly told the Toronto Star that he had been told to, quote, go back to playing basketball in his rookie season in the league by a fan. Basketball, especially the National Basketball Association of America, predominantly features black athletes, with roughly 75% of the players in the league being black whereas the National Hockey League only has roughly 30 black players in its ranks, Devontae smith Pelly being one of them. After the game, smith Pelly called the actions of the fans, quote, disgusting, and was disappointed with the fact that, quote, we're still talking about the same thing over and over, whilst the Blackhawks organisation themselves apologised to smith Pelly and also condemned the actions of the fans, saying, quote, these actions will never be tolerated. Then, the NHL themselves put out their own statement the next day, saying the behaviour of the fans was, quote, unacceptable and reprehensible. Now, there are two different viewpoints that the NHL fanbase have sided with in the aftermath of this incident. One argument claims that what was said to smith Pelly was clearly racist and the actions taken by staff to eject the fans were perfectly justified whilst the other argument claims that what was said wasn't really that bad and that the whole thing is just an overreaction to a simple fan chirping a player on the other team. Let me take you through both arguments so you can decide for yourself how you feel about this incident. The argument that this incident was racist towards smith Pelly makes a convincing argument. Of course, saying most of the words in the English language, such as basketball, is not racist itself. It's all about the context in which words are said that define whether they are insulting or not. In this instance, saying the word basketball to a black hockey player can certainly be seen as racist due to the context of the remark. By understanding that a large percentage of basketball's player base is made up of black athletes, and smith Pelly is a black player in a sport predominantly made up of white athletes, specifically choosing to say basketball to a black hockey player seems to have been said specifically to target smith Pelly. It's more than just a mere coincidence, don't you think? Also, the fact that this is now a recurring insult said towards smith Pelly further emphasises the cruel and racist intent that people have by saying it to him. We have seen instances of fans throwing a banana onto the ice when a black player is taking a penalty shot. Yes, that has certainly happened in an NHL game before in the last few years. Not to smith Pelly, but it certainly happened to another black NHL player. Whilst you could say that an incident like that is completely irrelevant to this situation, you could also argue that this isn't really any different to that. It's just using another method to convey your message, with words rather than actions. You could argue what they said as the verbal equivalent of throwing a banana at a black player to convey an insult predicated on race or the colour of the recipient's skin. It's just a different way of getting what you want to say across. One's through actions, and the other is through what you say. However, on the flip side, the argument that this wasn't really that bad and just an overreaction has its own side of the coin. Whilst smith Pelly certainly took exception to what was said and was clearly offended by what he heard, the situation has arguably been made worse by everybody else getting offended for him. This situation itself was dealt with immediately by the United Centre staff and smith Pelly made it clear that he is disappointed that insults like this are still thrown about. 
but for anyone who themselves got offended or triggered on Smith Pelly's behalf and went to Twitter to argue with people that disagreed with your opinion on the matter didn't help anything. It just fuels the fire and creates more arguments that are detracting from the actual incident. Knee-jerk reactions on social media from angry fans have never helped a situation like this. They never will help a situation like this. It just makes things worse. Rather than coming together and discussing the situation like adults and trying to solve the problem like nice people, angry or triggered fans on both sides of the argument just create a further divide. Which never solves anything, let's be honest. Also, whilst this doesn't justify what these fans said, fans can get very heated at hockey games and say stuff they might not necessarily say in the quote, real world, because they get so caught up in the moment and the adrenaline of the game. And since they have to pay a hefty price for a ticket, especially at somewhere like the United Centre, an original six team who has had success in the last decade, some fans feel that they can say whatever they want because they have paid for that right in buying their ticket. So, was kicking them out immediately the right thing to do? Surely if you gave them a warning first and kicked them out if they did it again, that would make a lot more sense and it'd be a lot fairer for everyone involved. If you ejected every fan from the arena who said something not racist, but rude or insulting to any of the players or on-ice officials during a game, the arena would end up half empty by the end of the night, because that's how ingrained this type of behaviour is within fans of the sport when they get to the arena. Now, in terms of where I sit in this debate, I do think that this was a racially motivated comment by the fans towards Smith Pelly. And I personally commend the staff at the United Centre for dealing with the situation immediately and ejecting the fans responsible from the game quickly. The main reason I take this stance that it was racist is due to Smith Pelly's reaction to the whole incident. If Smith Pelly didn't react the way he did and just brushed it off and didn't think much of it or think it was racist, but the NHL fan base blew up and made a big deal about this being racist, I would likely think differently and probably feel this wasn't really racist and just fans wanting to get offended on behalf of somebody else. Yet, the fact that Smith Pelly was publicly disgusted by what he heard and the fact that he responded in the way he did means that in my eyes, it was a racist comment because Smith Pelly himself found it racist. Of course, Smith Pelly isn't the one who decides what is racist and what is not in the world, but since he was the one whom the shouting was directed towards, it's his place to say whether he felt it was racist or not. I certainly wouldn't want someone to say something rude or racist to me if I was just going about my business and doing my job, just like Smith Pelly was. I mean, come on guys, it's 2018 and we're still seeing people discriminating against other people because of the colour of their skin. Have we, have we not as a species got past this trivial and pointless conflict over 50 years since the end of segregation in America? Talk about a broken record. In today's modern world, there is no place for racism or discrimination of any kind, especially in sports and especially in the NHL, which is coincidentally celebrating its Hockey is for Everyone month right now. Great timing, guys. The hockey world is supposed to be one big happy family that celebrate their love of the best sport in the world together. We aren't supposed to be waging wars of hate against other races or ethnicities like something out of Game of Thrones or something like that. Let's all just enjoy the sport and the players who showcase their incredible talents every night of the season, regardless of their skin colour or race or creed. It's time we as a species finally woke up and moved on from this pointless drivel. But to those of you who are still unsure about what to think of this whole incident, perhaps the best way to decide whether this was a racist incident or not can be solved by asking one simple question. Knowing what you do about the percentage of black athletes in the NBA compared to the NHL, if the player involved was white, would the fans have chosen to shout basketball at him? I personally don't think so, but I'll let you come to your own conclusion on that one, folks. And there you go. I now want to pass this over to you guys. Is what the fans said racist, or is this just an overreaction? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye!